What is it? You gonna welcome and say hi? Hi. hi. <laughs> She's not about it. Hi guys, welcome to another um, weekly writing vlog, author vlog. I am about to post, oh no. Oh, I was gonna try. <laughs> Dang it, I was gonna try to upload the video, the last vlog, today at my parents' house to mooch off their internet. I totally forgot to put it on my computer, so I'm gonna have to go somewhere tomorrow to try to do that, I guess. Oh, that's so frustrating. I just totally forgot. Um, but anyway, welcome to this week's vlog. I, um, I just got a new keyboard, so I wanted to kind of like show you what it looks like. It's the Microsoft, Microsoft Sculpt keyboard it's supposed to be like an ergonomic keyboard um, because I have like a lot of joint pain so even the last time in July when I was trying to write I ended up having like my hands were hurting a lot more so let me show you what that keyboard looks like and then um, I should mm, that's what I should do in these first clips I should have a plan for the week right now the plan is to finish the Elysian Prophecy um, typo team stuff and, and maybe format. We'll see how, how far I get with that. And then maybe while I'm doing that, I can also be working on the series outline. That sounds like a plan. Series outline, because I think we only have one more week after that and I should probably dedicate the whole last week to the TEP 3 outline. <clears throat> so I should have, yes, I should have the series outline done this week, at least for the next few books. Um, and then, finish the typo team stuff so I can try to republish that. Okay, let me show you this keyboard because I'm super excited. I waited to open it because I just like keyboards and I like, I hope it feels nice if you know what I mean. I'm very picky about how my keyboards feel and about how they sound too. So let's see. So first impressions, I really like how it feels. Um, it is weird because I thought this was like the J key, I guess. Um, like with the little nub on it. So originally I was like, wait, what's happening? So ooh, it, it sounds. Really nice. It seems like the back space is a little farther. You have to travel farther to get to it. It's obviously shaped different, so the keys, some keys are longer than they originally uh, are on a, on a normal keyboard. But, I don't know if you can see, it's like curved up in the middle. So in, instead of your hand being like, um, it's supposed to be like more natural how your hand would set. Like if you were to set it on a counter, it sets like this. It doesn't set like this. Like more, normal keyboards, you have to angle your wrist like this so it uses different muscles and those muscles are already so tiny so they get aggravated very easily so this is supposed to help with that so I'm hoping that helps with my um it, this was supposed to be my treat by the way this um for winning well not for winning Jesus what am I saying for yep she's unboxing too for um finishing the last round of editing so I will let you be a part of this wonderful I love doing this like look at that shiny yes beautiful and it comes with other stuff I think this is supposed to help lift it um, because you're actually supposed to I feel like I'm doing this wrong yeah like that which that seems really high but that's also supposed to help like you're supposed to sort of type at a downward angle which I'm used to lifting my keyboard so this is the opposite but I'm so excited to try this out this is like my NaNoWriMo treat for this year I'll leave a link down below in case you want to check it out yourself hi guys it is Monday um, I just finished uploading la the last vlog because um, I had meant to when I was at my parents house yesterday to bring my laptop with me so I could upload the video and I totally forgot so this morning I just decided to make a um, like a trip out of it I picked up breakfast for Isla and I on the way 
um, and my dad and then we she's climbing in her crib and then I uploaded the video while I was there got back in time for her nap so it is 11 o'clock I am feeling pretty productive and feeling pretty good I'm happy about um, like I guess I already feel like I got something done today which doesn't normally happen until after Isla's nap so I'm feeling pretty excited about that although I am feeling she slept through the night last night for the first time in a while and like you know when you sleep too much it just feels like your body's like I want to go back to sleep like that's how I am right now so um, I might try to make a smoothie to see if that can like help give me some energy for when I put her down for her nap because I want to get through more of the Elysian Prophecies typo team edits be great if I could get through another third of that and then I would only so I would only have to have like two days working on the actual edits and then I can work on formatting and I'm pretty sure I don't even have the original file that I did I think I'm gonna have to make a totally new illustrator I think is what I used file for the formatting for the paperback that's gonna take some research because I forgot how to do that <laughs> um, but that's my like big goal for the week is to get that totally wrapped up and done and then just try to get the series <laughs> outline just finalized I guess you know fleshed out a little bit more I'm so excited to try that new keyboard though I'm like I just can't wait to actually try it the keys or the spacing for the keys is different so like the backspace feels like your hands traveling a little bit farther so it's gonna take a little bit of adjustment to for my fingers to kind of learn where everything is at but it already kind of feels more natural the way my hand is being held it's a larger keyboard than like the teeny tiny one my battery's dying of course than the teeny tiny one that I have um, that's really more of like an aesthetic keyboard and I have the Dvorak am I saying that right Dvorak Dvorak um, layout on that keyboard so I moved all the keys around so that one's been interesting using with a QWERTY like it, it's a QWERTY, I'm using it as QWERTY, but the keys are in the wrong place because it's for the Dvorak, so. You know, your fingers know where like control C is, control V, like control X. But when I look down, my brain is like, and I have to like, okay, don't even look at it. I have to just like feel it because if I try to look and typing in like my password to unlock my computer, yeah, sometimes I'm like, okay, don't even look down, type it. So, <laughs> sometimes I, I don't always get it right on the first attempt, but usually I do. Thought I would give a little bit of an update. I feel like I want to do, I have like some under eye, like um, those little masks or whatever. I feel like I want to try to do one of those because my eyes just feel super puffy because I feel like I slept too much. But this afternoon I'm going to go on a run and I'm kind of excited because I haven't worked out in a while. But we'll see how I do because I haven't worked out in a while. <laughs> when I was working out consistently, I just have to show you Kira right now. Do you think she likes RV life? What about you, Isla? <gasps> Thank you. This doesn't want to focus on you. Oh, you're just a little baby. Okay, this is what she wants me to do. When I was consistently working out and I would try to go on a run, I was like, this is easy. Like, this is, I would get a little winded, but it would feel good. I'm very much like a runner. Not in the sense that I am running lately, but like I'm a runner at heart because I feel the best when I'm running. I could do a million workouts. I could get in super good shape, um, but I never get that like good endorphin feeling from just regular exercises, from weights, from any of that. All that stuff is just like, I don't wanna say boring, but it's kind of like I don't get any good out of it. Men, like mental health wise, if that makes sense. Running, I feel like a million bucks after I run. I should just get back into running, but I'm also, all of my joints hurt. <laughs> so it's like I have to do the exercises too, and I just need to find a way to incorporate the workouts, and I need to figure out a plan. Ideally before NaNoWriMo, because I know I'm gonna be busy, so if I can get a like routine in before then, hopefully I can maintain it through NaNoWriMo. Hi guys, forgive my sweaty appearance because I actually yeah, did go yeah, for a run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you went with me. I kind of need to sit down because I'm so tired. I feel like today was super productive. I was able to, this morning I was able to do all the uploading for the video, so it already felt like a huge bonus <laughs> that I was able to get something done before Isla's nap. Like, that doesn't usually happen. I can't do anything until she naps. 
so that felt really good. And then while she was napping, I actually finished all of the typo team edits. She almost snapped for two and a half hours, which was amazing. She has needed sleep and she has just, it's just starting to come through. She's cutting a tooth. And for some reason, like most of the times that she cuts a tooth, it doesn't really bother her too much, but this one's like inflamed, red, and you can tell she's having a hard time with it. Um, so she actually got to sleep for a good amount of time, which is great because of the tooth. She hasn't been sleeping that well. I was able to totally finish that and I was able to import it all back into Scrivener because I'm going to use Scrivener to export the ebook. Let me know if y'all use Vellum to export or to like create your PDFs. I know of some people who have used it before and I know it's faster. It's more user friendly than Scrivener. Um, but it is pricey, so I haven't decided whether or not I want to use that. Um, especially for the paperback because I already subscribed to Adobe. So I, I'm probably going to still use that for the paperback, but I always use Scrivener for the ebook. So let me know if you use Vellum and if you like it or not, and if you think it's worth the price. I'm feeling super jazzed about that though, that I totally finished those typo team edits. Like I flew through. Um, I can tell people kind of petered off toward the end. There was a ton of comments, you know, like in the first third probably. Um, and then I could tell people may not have finished reading it <laughs> um, because the comments became less frequent. But that's okay. There was still um, a few people towards the end that were still leaving really good. They were still catching things. I feel really good about that. I'm super excited. I feel like I can, tomorrow, hopefully, I can make the paperback or the, um, the ebook. Hopefully I can get that squared away and then I can try to re-upload that and then work on the paperback. So as a reward is what I'm telling myself. We are having a pizza night and Isla is going to watch a show. We have cracked down on her TV time so that now she's pretty much not watching any TV during the day. I mean like she's not watching any TV during the day. Both Steven and I are kind of tired so we're just going to just chill out. <laughs> kind of maybe have a little bit of a late night. Have Isla watch her show while we watch a show and just chill. We might even try to watch it on the TV, which we never do because we have to have hotspot. So everything's pretty much just super pixelated and blurry anyway. So it's usually better to watch it on a smaller device like a phone that's not on hotspot. Are you a jet? Hi guys. So I am sick. <laughs> um, I started to get sick to, um, I guess yesterday morning, I woke up in my, like 3.30, Isla woke up and my throat was sore and I was hoping it was just a combination of things, like maybe I didn't react well to us using air conditioning, um, or like the air conditioner running during the night, which wouldn't make sense because it runs all the time, but I was trying to make excuses and I had worked out the day before, so I was like, maybe that's why my body is so sore. And I didn't sleep well, so I was like, maybe that's why I'm so tired. But unfortunately, I am sick. So yesterday, I didn't do a thing, which was quite painful because I feel like I was so close to finishing the ebook formatting the other day. Like, I I just have to start compiling and then remembering how I did a couple settings. It's been so long since I've exported a book um, from Scrivener that I'm, yeah. It's gonna take me a minute to remember. I am also, I feel like my ears are like, I feel like I'm underwater, so like I can't hear very well. Um, but yeah, I have, my throat was sore for a little bit, just like congestion, body aches. Oh my gosh, I normally have joint pain, but holy crap, my joints have been killing me. Like I feel like I almost can't like hold things or I usually cut up Isla's food. I can, I can barely even cut her food up, uh, but Steven's taking the day off so he can help take care of her. Hopefully, uh, she doesn't seem to be feeling like 100%, but she doesn't seem to be feeling as bad as I do, but it's hard to tell when you have a little kid because you don't, they can't tell you, you know, like, I'm just hoping she doesn't actually have whatever I have. It doesn't seem like COVID, but who knows, but I was actually just, as you can probably look on Instagram, um, taking a picture of the tracker that I used in April and I didn't actually finish filling it out in April for this one I was using like the circular tracker a little bit more but I don't know where that one went I put it in a different notebook and that notebook is like gone right now so but I'm actually hoping while she's napping today that I can try to export that thing hopefully I can get a little bit done I feel like Monday was so productive and for some reason a lot of times before I get sick or before I'm like feeling under the weather I'll get like an energy burst and I will do all of the things one day and then the next day I'm like down. Yesterday I kind of had a mini Downton Abbey marathon once Stephen got home. 
um, because I'm on season five and I'm about to finish that up. So, and then I think I'll watch a little bit. I'll rewatch Haunting of Hill House. I can never remember the name of that, the proper name. I don't even know if that's right because the second season of that series came out. Um, so I'm excited about that. All right, I'm gonna post this picture on Instagram and then lay down. Actually, I'm gonna lay down and then post it. <laughs> Hi guys, my hair is still wet so it looks black, but it is Saturday now and I feel much better. Um, unfortunately, I think Isla was sick at the same time as me, so she's been waking up more frequently and I think that's why I've, it's kind of been harder for me to get over the whatever bug I had. Um, I thought about getting tested for COVID just in case, but I don't know, it seems like we've pretty much gotten over it. If I can just get a good night's sleep, like sleep one time through the night, I'll probably be golden. I have not been able to do any more work besides the, our counter is a mess back there, besides the ebook formatting. I had to think for a second. So I've been wanting to work on the paperback formatting the past two days, but for a couple days, I didn't even have enough energy to like physically lift my arms to like sit at the computer. It's really hard for me to not do anything like just to sit and kind of like recover like my brain is like I want to do stuff I want to do stuff I want to do stuff so that was a bit of a struggle but I'm hoping today I wanted to work during her nap but she didn't nap but I would still like tonight to try to work on the paperback formatting because tomorrow I want to try editing this video and so I can get it out on Monday and then on Monday I am starting to plot so it's really important for me to finish this paperback stuff and to finish all that Elysian Prophecy, formatting it and everything so that I can jump into, what is it? You want some water? So that I can jump into outlining the series, so I can do the series and then outline the third book so I can be ready for Nano right now. So it's really important that I try to finish this paperback thing today. Otherwise it's gonna have to wait until like Tuesday or maybe Monday. I'm kind of like setting myself deadlines, which are kind of like fun deadlines for now until I'm like right up to the deadline and then they're not fun anymore. But yeah, just a little update. Hi guys, so I just took Isla on a nice long walk and the dogs. Um, oh, that window's a little washed up. Do that. I'm not blinding you guys the whole time. But I am exhausted. I waffle between not having enough sleep and having too much sleep because my body just doesn't wake up on its own anymore, it seems. It's used to Isla waking me up, so um, unless I set an alarm, my body just will sleep and sleep and then I sleep too much. Isla got to go play outside after last week. We pretty much didn't go outside at all because we weren't feeling well. Um, this is, so it's Monday. I planned on getting this video up today but I didn't get a chance to edit it yesterday because I was still working on the paperback edits so it's kind of like I had a choice between working on the paperback um, formatting I mean or editing this video so I figured I would try to finish the paperback formatting unfortunately I made a mistake <laughs> and um, basically the last time that I did this I didn't have this issue so I wasn't aware that it could have been an issue but when you import into InDesign when you like place your Word document into InDesign there's one setting like one box you have to tick so that it'll keep the formatting um, I guess some of the um, like paragraph styles I think is what it's called something like that from your Word document which means first time I imported, I went through all the changes, I changed all the chapter headings, titled them correctly, did the um, f like first line no indent formatting on all the chapters, and was pretty much ready to place um, the like section breaks and start going like page by page to make sure there's not like one line of text on one page, um, or there's different rules, like I think you're not supposed to start a paragraph at the very bottom of a page like the last line should not be a new paragraph if that makes sense so there's like things that you have to go page by page I was pretty much ready for that step so I spent like an hour and a half two hours to get to that point and then realized that none of my italics none of the text that was italicized before stayed it was all gone so 
I had to redo all that basically because once I changed that setting, which took me about 30 minutes to even find that for some reason, it's like kind of like a hidden thing, but I couldn't copy and paste back from my Word document into the InDesign because the it messed with the auto flow text. So, you know, if the, if I ended up um, changing the formatting a little bit like the spacing or whatever and then it needed to go to another page like chapter one ended up being one more page if that makes sense it wouldn't have added that page correctly so it would have just kind of ripple affected made ripple effect created more issues I hope that makes some sort of sense um, so I pretty much just had to redo everything so that the formatting would the, the text would flow properly to additional pages or it would automatically like sort of subtract a page if it needed to. To avoid any issues like that, I basically had to redo everything. So I actually stayed up last night. I don't like working at night because it wires me out and then it takes me about an hour once I turn off the screens, the computer, to like wind down. So I didn't get to sleep until late, but thankfully Isla um, slept really well last night. She didn't wake up in the middle of the night, which is I think the third time in a month that she's done that. Long story short, paperback formatting has been a huge nightmare. I, I take that back. It's not been a huge nightmare, but it's just been more complicated than I remembered. I remembered it taking me some time, but um, it's just not the fun, most fun, the funnest thing to do. And there has to be a better way to do it. The way I'm doing it, I know I posted a video about um, formatting in Word, but Word is just so picky. Like one little weird thing could go wrong and then Word just, you know, you, you click one button that you've been doing the entire time for every chapter and then it does something crazy. In design, um, it's okay. It's just, there. I feel like there has to be a better way to do this. I need to do more research um, and see kind of what everybody else does. Let me know if you formatted your paper book, what you did. Um, I guess too it doesn't help that I have like my chapter headings are a specific style and then I have images placed over the chapter headings um, like smoky sort of spirals and stuff and then this time I decided to take out the at the top I had like on the left side I had um, Vivian Reese and then on the right side I had the, the Elysian Prophecy like the title I decided to take that out it's kind of 50-50 split between like um, in traditional the traditional world like who does that I need to I need it to fit into 400 pages um, the reason that I did that to begin with was um, to reduce the cost of publishing so I could keep the cost of the book as low as possible because the more pages your book is the more money it takes for them to print it so then that eats into your royalties so then you kind of have to raise the price of your book a little bit so I'm still keeping within 400 pages but I think I ended up taking out about 6,000 7,000 words during the edit process and surprisingly I thought that would have given me more room to kind of like expand the make the text a little bit bigger to make the line spacing a little bit bigger because it was kind of scrunched up and I didn't like that in like I guess the first version of the book it didn't really allow me to make the text that much bigger and the line spacing that much bigger it is still bigger but I feel like it I thought it would have made a bigger difference especially because now I took a little bit of the top um, spacing out so I could because I'm not doing the book title and then my name at the top of each page in any case I had to redo the whole thing because I have taken some chapters out I've rearranged things here and there so I had to redo the entire InDesign project I wouldn't I wasn't gonna be able to keep what I had with the first um, version so I feel like I'm totally rambling you guys have been sitting here for a minute I'm gonna wind this baby down and hopefully get her um, down for a nap so that I can edit this video that's the plan Hi guys, so I have nearly finished editing this YouTube video. Isla is napping, and I always feel like I'm gonna wake her up every time I start talking. Um, a jet just flew over. She'll sleep through jets, but I'm afraid if she hears me speaking, she's like, what, mom? I wanted to do a little mini wrap up of this week. I can't believe that I was sick, and I feel like I still accomplished some stuff. Um, I think I was sick. I was down for like three, almost four days, and then about two days ago I started to feel better. Yesterday I was like kind of back to normal. Thank goodness. Um, so I was able to totally finish the tip, um, typo team edits, which was 
went faster than I thought it would. And then the ebook formatting took longer than I thought it would. And then the paperback formatting I am still doing. I have not finished that. I think I pretty much have to go through the page by page, like I said, and then add the pictures on the chapters. And then the rest of it should be pretty easy. And then I, that one's for Create Space or KDP Print, I think it's called now. And then I have to do another one for Ingram Sparks, which I think only has to have like one change like i think it needs an extra page or a page taken out or something they have a different rule about like you have to end on a blank page or something i can't remember anyway um i hope you have made it this far if you have i guess this is kind of a little bonus but i wanted to do a giveaway for reaching 6,000 followers they're not subscribers on instagram it jet's going over so to celebrate i wanted to give away five ebook copies of the lesion prophecy which has now been you know kind of edited again and reformatted and all that goodness so the details for that will be over on my instagram i'll have a post there and then i think you can just like subs or um, follow me geez i want to say subscribe follow me on instagram and then like leave a comment and then i will just randomly pick a winner maybe in like a week to kind of give people time to watch this video and then go find that post um also there will be five winners yes so i just said i would pick a winner but then i'm gonna pick five winners and it's gonna be totally random so if you haven't bought the book now is a good time to maybe um enter the giveaway thank you so much for following me on instagram i know i don't post too frequently on there i try to be more up to date with the stories but um i'm trying to get like a regular routine going for instagram and i think i almost have 85,000 subscribers on this channel which is totally crazy and then most of those are for writing tips so not as many people watch the writing vlogs but that's okay so i'm gonna finish editing this and then hopefully um, I can get it up and posted and everything tomorrow, Tuesday. So running a day behind, but that's okay. All right, I hope you have had a great week. I hope you have another great week until my next video, and I will see you soon. There's a jet. There's another one. Don't they know I'm vlogging? Okay, so I will see you in next week's video. I don't think I put this on here, but comment down below also if you, what program you use to format your paperback novels. I don't think I, I don't think that was on here. Maybe it was, but I just don't remember. Okay, bye.